It's been snowing for days here, so let's go inside and learn how to safely and easily clean your telescope's mirror. Hi, I'm Aaron and welcome to my kitchen. Cleaning the mirror on your Newtonian or Dobsonian is something that intimidates a lot of people. But in this video, I want to show you that as long as you're careful, it's actually pretty easy and you really don't need to be too worried about it. I'm going to be borrowing a technique that I saw in a video a number of years back from Owl Optics, so the credit for this technique is all due to them. Thankfully, the best way to clean these mirrors requires no special supplies, solvents, or tools. All we're going to use is some warm tap water, dish soap, optional demineralized or distilled water, and our bare fingertips. That's right, one of the best tools for cleaning these mirrors is your fingertips. According to a Google search I did 10 minutes ago, human fingers can feel things as small as 13 microns. The the general idea of this method is that we're just going to deluge this thing with water and because our fingertips are so sensitive, we're not going to drag any bits of dirt across here. That's why you see in some other techniques that they recommend using hundreds of cotton balls or lens cleaning cloths and only making one swipe across. You don't want to drag any dirt and leave behind a bunch of scratches on the mirror. But with this technique, we don't need to worry about that since we can feel the tiniest little bit with our finger and we're gonna be using so much water that it's just constantly clearing it off. Before we even get started, we probably should have asked if we even need to clean this mirror. The answer is usually no. If you shine a flashlight down the tube, it's almost always going to look worse than it actually is. It's actually really surprising how well a mirror performs with quite a bit of dirt on it. This one is probably borderline. I can see a lot of hair and grime and stuff that I don't want on it. If you see a haziness around your stars and you know it's not dewy, that might be another sign. Where did the hair come from? When you remove the mirror from the tube, it can be helpful to add a sharpie mark or some tape to help put it back in the same orientation so your collimation hopefully changes as little as possible. We can do the same thing when we take the mirror out of the cell. Now we're going to put a washcloth in the sink so the mirror has something soft to sit on and maybe something else to help the water keep draining. We're just going to start dousing this with warm water and helping any stubborn bits with our bare hands and a little bit of dish soap with some very light pressure. If you have something really stuck on there, you can let the water soak for a bit and see if that helps. Just keep at this as long as you need to until you can't see or feel any more filth. You can actually see some spots where I didn't clean it off well enough, so I'm actually going to put this back in the sink and make sure I get that center section a little better. So if I had used distilled water, I'd have fewer little droplets like this, but I'm just going to use the corner of a paper towel to kind of absorb them up and it'll be plenty good for me. Then we'll just pop this back in the mirror cell and we'll be done. I'm gonna give a couple quick puffs with the air blower to get some of the paper towel fibers off, but I don't really feel the need to be a perfectionist about this because one, it doesn't matter that much, and I just showed you how easy it is if we need to clean it again. Finally, all you need to do is get the mirror properly aligned back into the cell with those marks we helpfully made earlier, and reattach the clips. They should be just barely off the mirror so you can slide a piece of paper, like your script, between the clip and the mirror. Alternatively, tighten it until you can no longer spin the mirror, then back off a quarter turn. The point of the clips is not to hold the mirror in place. Gravity is going to do that. It's to keep the mirror from falling out if you end up in a weird orientation. Over-tightened mirror clips will give you pinched stars, especially as the temperature drops.
Finally, you'll just need to reinstall the mirror cell into the tube and use your favorite collimation tools and techniques to get everything perfectly lined up again. I hope you found this video helpful. I just wanted to get something out in the middle of what's been a super busy winter for me. I have aspirations of getting a bunch of videos out in the next couple months, but history has shown, um... If you do want to support the channel, look for those affiliate links to Agena Astro and High Point Scientific down in the description. Otherwise, just remember to wear a coat because it is winter in Alaska and I feel like I shouldn't have to remind anybody up here of that.